In fact, David, I'll add to that. There, one of the unintended consequences of this kind of broad scale war on salt is that when you restrict salt, you can actually cause insulin resistance. Mm. This is a phenomenon documented in humans. When, when you're restricting salt so heavily, salt is so essential to human function that the kidneys are going to start doing anything they can to conserve whatever salt we have in our blood at the moment. And one of the mechanisms the kidneys will do, one of the, one of the processes the, uh, the body will utilize is increasing insulin to increase kidney salt retention. So it, insulin's helping the kidneys get more miserly because in this case, the body is desperately holding on to whatever salt it can. And that chronic increase in insulin will start to drive insulin resistance because chronically elevated insulin is arguably the most fundamental cause of insulin resistance. So my point being one of the unintended consequences of salt restriction is actually causing insulin resistance. Yes, yeah, so the mitochondria are the so-called powerhouse of the cell. And, and what, what is important in that idea is that mitochondria are the site of, of burning energy, burning nutrients like fat and glucose and ketones and, and lactate, which are other fuels actually for cells. Um, but uh, mitochondria have, I like you use the word dynamics, mitochondria do have a life and a cycle. These are parts of a cell that are very fluid where they, they come together and they, they pull apart. But insulin resistance and the chronically elevated insulin prevents that dynamic um, cycling of mitochondria. One, the, the, the process whereby the cell replaces old parts of itself and makes new parts of itself is called autophagy. Mm. So some, one of the key ways to help our cells maintain optimal function, and then by extension, our body, is to help insulin be low enough, at least from time to time, that the cells can go through autophagy. Because insulin is, is probably the most powerful inhibitor of autophagy. So when insulin is up, autophagy has stopped. And that would include the cell kind of digging, burning through its old mitochondria to replace it with new mitochondria. So we can't, uh, we, we, we don't want that process to be inhibited. Uh, one of the keys to longevity is autophagy. At least we know this from other animal and, 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 and insect models, and we can only assume that the same thing holds for humans. And that is all more to my point that the key to long, healthy living is keeping insulin low because the average person doesn't let that happen like ever uh, because they, they wake up in the morning and right in the morning, insulin has finally come down overnight and yeah. it has been able to just hum along at its kind of fasting baseline levels. The average American then immediately stops that from happening. It, it, it's immediately we shut off autophagy because we start this never ending, well, this, this daily, I should say, spike of insulin where they wake up and they immediately break that fast with a bowl of sugary junk or toast or bagels or orange juice. DoctorsToTrust.com, world's number one site for short, annotated nutrition videos designed to share with loved ones.